In today's video, I will teach you how to straighten crooked images in GIMP. Let's get started. Straightening a crooked photo in GIMP is a straightforward process that involves using the rotate tool and cropping the image. Start by launching GIMP on your computer. Then open the photo that you want to straighten by selecting File, then open from the menu, then browse the location of your file image. With your photo open, locate the ruler at the top of the document window. Then click and drag from the ruler down onto the image to create a guideline. Then place the guideline along a horizontal reference point in the image, such as the horizon or a straight edge. From the toolbox, select the rotate tool, which looks like a pointer with a curved arrow. In the tool options below the toolbox, set the clipping option to crop with aspect. Now click on your photo to select it for rotation. Now there are three methods to rotate the image. First, you can click and drag the photo in a circular motion to adjust its orientation. The second method is by using the slider in the rotate window to rotate the orientation angle. And the third method is entering a specific rotation angle in the rotate window. And once the image is aligned correctly, click the rotate button to apply the rotation. After rotating the image, it may appear surrounded with empty space. To crop the image to its new orientation, you can go to the image menu, then select Crop to Content. This will automatically crop the image to fit the rotated area. To clean up the image, remove the horizontal guideline by going to the image menu, then go to Guides, then select Remove All Guides. Review the straightened image to ensure it meets your satisfaction, and once you're happy with the result, you can export the image by selecting File, then Export As from the menu. Choose the desired file format and location, then click Export. By following these steps, you can easily straighten a crooked photo in GIMP, ensuring your horizontal lines and objects are properly aligned. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.